Hey everybody, it's Shanna, and I'm coming at you with my last video for Little Blue Button Stamps. Um, this is my last official design team video, but I will still be using her um, images because they're just too doggone adorable. So, um, but I do want to thank Olga for giving me the opportunity to be officially on her design team. I had a lot, a lot of fun, and um, it's been great. And I'm so glad that I was part of the design team when she came out with this cute, adorable little heiress. So I decided to use Eris as my um, images for the last cards that I officially make because she's my favorite, um, I think. So I um, first I'm going to show you, let's see, I'm going to start with this one. Um, I did birthday cards because I need a couple birthday cards for March. So I decided to make some birthday cards and... The first one here, I pulled out my oldie but a goodie, Tattered Time by DCWV paper. And I used this, this beautiful little music box, um, well I guess it's not a music box, why did I say that? Um, old fashioned, um, oh goodness, I know you're all yelling at me what that is. I want to say photo foam, oh I'm not even saying it right. Whatever, she is listening to the music and that's all that counts. <laughs> I used um, this is a five and a half by five and a half um, and it's an easel card and um, used dark brown paper for my base um, here and then I had this is a piece it's actually it's not that it's it's one of these fluted tiles from I think I got it at Joann's. It's just craft. I'm not sure. It says canvas, home basics. So, um, and then I cut the background paper, distressed the edges, and um, inked them with my distress vintage photo. And then I curled the corner up here and then just inked that part there. And then I used my square Spellbinders Floral Delice Square. And I actually, it left the, the, um, it left the middle and I actually took my paper trimmer and just lined it just inside and cut the middle out. And then I used the square Spellbinder, the large one, and cut my image out. Um, and it fit just inside that. And I layered that on the outside and then I just layered the paper on the inside and took another piece two and a half inches and this is actually a pocket. I'm actually going to stick another piece here um, as a tag to go inside for my uh, message. I just haven't done it yet so it'll, it will uh, fit in there. I just haven't done that yet. So I just had this little lollipop flower. It actually had a little pearl inside, but I decided to put this little resin um, rose. I had these little resin roses from Recollection, and I put one on the, the little lollipop flower with a little burlap. I had this was a leftover from something. I had made some flowers, and that was leftover, so I just cut it, made leaves out of it, and then I put some little more resins up here in the corner. And then I had this piece of balsa wood left over from another project a couple weeks ago. And I just cut it out with a square or rectangle um, spellbinder. And then I uh, stamped it. I recently bought this from Sybil when she was de-stashing. Um, this Stampin' Up! Happy Birthday. And see, I used it, Sybil. Um, and I used some stays on in which I used it on this other one and I tell you what I think I may end up redoing it um, and it can see how well it stamped really really well on that balsa paper wood see there it stamped really well because look at this how this one that same exact stamp and this is on chalkboard paper but this is um, 
Versa, is it VersaFine ink? Yeah, VersaFine Onyx Black ink on this chalkboard paper. And I let this set overnight. I did this last night. And I let it set without touching it. But look at it. It has totally, like, at first I thought it was kind of neat. But the more I'm looking at it, I don't like it. So I'm wondering if I can't um, pry that off of here. I have some more. I think I can. I just glued it. I think I'm going to before I take the picture. So hopefully if you're on the blog, you'll see this picture. Because um, this is bugging me. You see me dismantling this right on video. I'm sorry. But that's going to bug me because, I mean, just look how much that has bled. Is that going to focus? If I put this together, I mean, just look. Look at that same exact stamp. And look how thin and how, I mean, look at those D's. Because that was stays on. And that's versifying. Yeah, I'm going to have to change that because that's going to drive me bonkers. So, I used my Copics to color the little girl here. Um, and then this, I used some metallic Sharpie. And that's what you're seeing kind of um, glistening there. On the, I have some colored sharp uh, metallics, and so I used the blue for the record. And um, silver on the... Oh goodness, I almost wanted to say mega foam, but that's not right. So, um, my second little one here, the gal that I'm making this for likes um, blues and wintry color cards. And I really, um, I, I, uh, I follow this gal, Nikki. She's, oh, she's on. Uh, my creative time. She's BFFs with her and she's um, Scrap and Navy Wife is her blog. But she is um, addicted to sequins and <laughs> so she does a lot of sequin cards and um, she likes to do shaker cards. And so I decided to, um, I bought some sequins from My Style Stamps recently. And I had gotten these silver ones, and so I decided that this would be a great image to color and make kind of a wintry blue theme for this birthday card. And so I did a shaker card. So I used my Spellbinders 8 label card, and um, I made a 5 by 7 card, and I used these, these, and I the paper pad I used was um, this Christmas one, this Rustic Lux, but it's got great um, wintry and silver papers. And then I used my chalkboard stack for the blue um, paper. And then this is just a uh, blue cardstock here. And I used some white seam binding. And I colored her with some gray in her hair, and then I used that silver metallic um, Sharpie for to accent her hair. And, of course, I had to, I used, colored my uh, little guy there. I love that dragon. Colored him blue this time. See, I didn't make him purple for once. Usually I make him purple. Um, and then I have another little bow down there. Now, I didn't get my foam as clean as I would have liked. Um, it didn't stick out too much. I mean, I'm okay with it, but I wish I'd, I just, if I had done a thicker, um, band here. I think it would have been better than I, my phone would have been hidden better, but I think I got it hidden per fairly well. So, but and then on the inside, I just used some more of that paper and the spell binders die to write on. So, I will use the same birthday, happy birthday, restamp this, and uh, re put my birthday there. So, thank you again, Olga, for letting me be on your design team. I appreciate it. And I still look forward to more cards with you. Thanks a lot. Bye.